Oh wait. Yeah. Right, now, I'm gonna. I want. I'm gonna touch this on you. I want you to tell me whether it's vibrating or not vibrating. So you need to tap it both times so that they know that, it, that you're doing it the same. And then at one point you're going to stop it like that. Another time you're going to stop it. What test is this? What do we think it is? The vibration, vibration sense. So this is the uh, conscious proprioception, which is which. Which track? Okay. So it's a vibration test. You're telling whether it's vibrating or not vibrating. Okay, then this is going to be dull and this is going to be sharp. Are you going to tell me whether it's sharp or dull? So what I'm doing is I'm using the flat end and the sharp end. If you don't have Something like this, you can take a paper clip and you pull one side out, so you have the tip of it, and then you have the rounded part. And, you know, theoretically, you could do this in all the different dermatomes on both sides, okay? But for, for this situation, we can do like one or two spots on each extremity. And so, you know, you do that. And you can do it to the chain side. And then... Let's close your eyes and want you to tell me this is down and this is up. Down. Oh, yeah. Down. 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 Like uh, maybe a key or a paper clip, something like that. Then you can have a closed eyes, you can put it in your hand and say, Tell me what this is. So you take this if you have it, then you use, well, let's see, close your eyes. All right, slow pull. The rock pull. I'm not technologically savvy. You don't know a USB uh, drive when you fill it. <laughs> um, so let's see. And then, what's the other one that I didn't do yet? Okay. So that's where you have, um, at the break I'll go, I think I still have the thing in the car. What I have is a couple different things where you have two points of different uh, widths apart, millimeters or something like that. You can make them with paper clips if you got nothing else to do. Um, so then you're going to have two points together and you say, you can hold like one side of it. Like say if this was something sharp, I would either do it like this. Okay. So tell me if this is two. This is two points. This is one point. So tell me what that's one or two. Most people call choppy. 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 Okay, so she so can tell better on their hands because that's going to be more sensitive. So you're the, the closer the thick points can come together on the fingertips than if they're on like your lower back or something like that. Okay. I remember what that is? Identification. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling something what it is, what it is, telling what something is without looking at it. Oh, okay. seeing it. You know what you could do is you have a couple things in a bag and you know reach in there and tell me tell me what they are. Uh, so let's see. Okay. What's the one thing I didn't do yet? Okay, so what are you looking for when you do that? Yeah. Uh, Split out like that. Flex the fingers when the big toe comes back. Okay. So I guess I should have had somebody time me. Well, I can check it on the camera later. That should have taken five minutes. What's that? Okay. I might have taken longer because I was talking a little bit. But basically, that's what we're going to do is practice all that stuff. Okay. So let's do that. And then we can go over any of the particular things that we want on any of the other PowerPoint things that we did and talked about in different lectures and stuff. Okay.
when we have the sheet. But it's, uh, oh, and then you don't have to do this, but there is also the uh, pupillary reflex. Okay, so we'll do Can somebody cut the light? And might not be able to see. Let me just zoom in the camera. Did anybody try going to that uh, website that has the neuro tests on it yet? Yes. What did you think? It's good. It's good time. Okay. Okay. So I want you to keep up this straight ahead. And then what am I looking for when I do that? Which one? Both. Yeah. And then you, know, you can put like a piece of paper or something and go on one side and you should see the other one in strict as well. Do you see that issue? You don't have to do the because I think I put it on here and just put it optional. But on the, just so you understand, <laughs> with the fifth cranial nerve, the the thing that's most sensitive to pick up early cranial nerve down, or seventh, fifth cranial nerve, is the coronal reflex. So, you know, if you're, if you're practicing and you're doing more cranial nerve related stuff, that might be a better test to do, but chances are a lot of times you're not necessarily going to do a lot of this kind of stuff. But you still need to know it for this class and, and to know it for your passing your boards, and then what you choose to do and practice after that, that's up to you. Okay?